50 C. All right, yeah. All right, so we're gonna change the sand in the sand filter. It's a Pentair. I'm not sure what model it is because the uh, the thing is completely bleached out. Actually, not completely, but enough so I can't see it. So anyway, I do know I did this one once before. 600 pounds of sand. Turned off the pump. Unscrewed this with this, just the hand tight. Took off the drain right there. All right, I'm um, here clockwise, right? Clockwise this way. Clockwise out. All right, so I can't really, I don't think I can push it down too far. Oh, yes, I can. Can you hold this for a second? Yes, I can. Okay, just point it down there. I should take my watch off. That might be a good idea, Dad. All right, let me just point. So I'm just twisting it down so I can get, so I can get in there. Mm. I snap it off, we can't use the pullers here. Okay, all right, that's enough. So now it's down enough so I can get in there. Now I can use a wet-dry vac. I think at the beginning, the best thing for me to do is get some kind of cup, like a sand, like a, like a, something we take to the beach and get in there. And all right, went in the house and got gloves. A couple of these things. I think this is the best way to take it out to start. Can you bring over the wheelbarrow? Now there's 590 pounds still left. Uh -huh. Here, point, put it all the way in. I don't know if you can see, but the thing is pushed over to the side. It goes clockwise according to the directions and we're scooping the sand out. Uh, thank you. Bit mm -hmm. of suggestion if you ever do this, probably be better if the sand was completely dry. The wet dry back we tried, it didn't work. So, and the last time I did this, it did, and I did it before the season started. So, the wet dry back, it all got stuck. But whatever. That wasn't the best thing in the world, but it was pretty helpful. I'll do it when I get down to the end. I'll try it again. But you can't, you have to just take a little, little drop at a time so it doesn't dunk up the, the tubing. All right, so as long as I'm doing this, I took it off. I took the whole thing apart. I took this off because I can't get the remainder of the sand out. And it's not such a big deal, but it's just annoying me. So I might as well, I might as well just put some lube on that, flip it over, and try to get the sand out that way, off the stand. Although it's pretty heavy, I might need a little help. Okay, I need to break it. Break the stand or something. Figure this out. Let's see how. It's not that heavy. Hmm. Just got to figure out how to how to flip it. All right. Not too bad. All right, I'm gonna wash it out with water now. Hopefully we'll get all the crap out of here. This way. As long as it doesn't roll away. Roll down the hill and roll away. I thought this stand was separate actually, but whatever. In order to see if I can take this off without without cutting it. This is dull. Alright, good. One Nice and clean. Two. Nice and clean also. 
me just check this out. That's nice. All right, so I'm gonna take the Molly coat and really, I never usually would have done this. So since I have this off, might as well might as well make sure this is done right. This Molly cut stuff is great. It doesn't break down. There's one. It's it's made for O-rings. I mean, I used to use like vegetable oil. I used to use all kinds of other stuff, like plumber's grease. But this is actually made for O-rings. All right, so there we go. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is I, I made sure the floor was level and clear. Where I picked this up from, uh, let's see. I'm going to try to put it back how it was. I mean, it's got to line up with that. So I think what I'm going to do before I install it, though, is make sure the place where that goes is completely clean. and empty and clean. I'll show you in a sec. Alright, so I'm gonna make sure in there is clean. There's no sand or anything. Like there is here. Actually it doesn't matter because it goes inside. Make sure this is clean, that is clean. Make sure this it's clean. All right. I will just hand tighten the period. Good way to break these is to take a wrench to it. Okay. Alright, so now let's look inside so you can see what's going on in there. Alright, so. So here's what's in there. You got those fingers that I looked at. There, nothing's broken. This piece right here, uh, I bent it. It goes clockwise. I'm gonna bend it back up. So now to fill this up, and I got all the sand out of there. So to fill this up, if you just dump 600 pounds of sand, it can break those tines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, put this back. I'm gonna put some Teflon tape, put this back, and I'm gonna fill this halfway with water and I'll pour the sand into the water. All right, so that's coming up next. Stand by. You know, take some of this Megalox stuff. And fancy. 
I'm gonna hand tighten this. I'm always afraid of this leaking. call it a day right there hand tight that can't leak well that's not true all right now i'm going to fill this halfway up with water and then we'll dump the sand in over here Now we're filling this up halfway with water. All right, so this might be a waste of time. This thing, I got it for, uh, I did it when I changed the media inside my water softener, but we'll see. All right, you just leave it. Can I back this up? All right, there's really nothing much to say here. I uh, intentionally muted the audio because when you speed up the the uh, motion it's it sounds ridiculous but anyway uh this is just me sticking in uh, 12 bags of sand each one of 50 pounds the funnel actually helped quite a bit because it's really easy to spill it all over the place but that was it it was a little back breaking and tedious but we got it done All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna straighten this up. Here, let's so see, can we see inside? Yeah, we'll have light. See, how disgusting it looks. All right, watch out, I'm gonna, I need two hands, I'm gonna pull this straight up. There it goes, holy cow. Wow, okay, now it's too far. <laughs> oh. Here, do you wanna switch sides to me for no, leverage? that's good, that's good. All right. So that's where it was supposed to yeah. be. Yeah. It was not there, wow. it was over on the side. Yeah, well you push it down to get to the sand. Now I, I rinsed this with water, so I just want to make sure there's no sand on it, and there's not. Okay. I'll put a little bit, it was, as long as I have that molly coat. Mm -hmm. Might as well stick some over here. Maybe. Let's see if I can get this off easily. Probably need a new one of these at some point. This is pretty ratty. You know what? I am going to fill this up with water completely before we turn it on. Okay. Sounds like a plan. So, I'll put this on. I'll ask you to put the hose in in a second. And then I'll just turn the water on. It's gonna take probably about 10 more minutes. About two more minutes to fill up the water. Wow, look at this. You can tell it's breaking apart. All right. Froggy. Oh. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll stick it in here and I'll go turn the water on. Oh. Pour it right on the motor. Now I can't get my hands in there, so never mind that. But I think what I'll do is I'll just give it one of these. The reason you can do it with a pool pump is because it comes out faster than it goes in. All right. Thank you. I'll put this on.
There it goes. All right, it's filthy. It's filthy. Just like I thought it would be. All right, so that's the sand. That's the new sand. I guess once it gets clear, we're good to go. You want to see what it looks like? It's disgusting. Okay. Okay, I think we're good to go. Might be dirty at the beginning, but hopefully it'll 